हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अभिनव नेगी एंड वेलकम टू द सुपर एनिमेटेड सीरीज ग्राउंड जीरो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन क्विक्स एंड कंडीशन एंड लिक्विफेक्शन बट बिफोर दैट डिफरेंस लीव क्विक्स एंड कंडीशन एंड लीव लिक्विफेक्शन लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द इफेक्टिव स्ट्रेस वट इज इफेक्टिव स्ट्रेस so guys physical significance of effective stress it represents the contact force between the particles between the soil particles if effective stress is more then the contact force between the particles is more the particles are colliding with each other with a great amount of contact force and it is always desirable that means they will not be breaking and there is a huge contact force bond between them if effective stress is less as in case of rainy seasons because rainy seasons pore water pressure will be more as water table depth will be more and eventually effective stress will decrease effective stress will decrease means the contact force between the soil particles is less and when contact force is less they can be easily sheared off now leave about the large magnitude of contact force or large magnitude of effective stress or less magnitude of effective stress let us discuss about when the effective stress net effective stress will be zero net effective stress zero in case of sand represents that there is no bonding between the particles and in such cases the particles are in floating condition as you can see in this small clip effective stress is zero there is no contact force between the particles so both in quick sand condition and liquefaction the effective stress is zero the contact force between the particles is zero and that means the soil cannot withstand an any load so quick sand condition and liquefaction both effective stress is zero soil cannot bear any load cannot take any load this is the similarity between the quick sand condition and liquefaction now let me tell you about the difference yes in both effective stress is zero now the difference is the effective stress zero in quick sand condition and liquefaction is due to different reasons like in case of seepage the effective stress formula for downward and upward seepage is as shown in your screen of course for downward seepage effective stress will increase and for upward seepage effective stress will decrease of course suppose there is some contact force between me and my shoes right now with the floor if somebody is pushing me downward uh the contact force will be increasing between me my shoes and floor and if somebody is pulling me like this ah uh, somebody is pulling me like this the contact force will reduce suppose my weight is 80 newton somebody is applying a 10 newton load so contact force will become 90 80 my weight 10 like this so contact force will be 90 increases that is why in downward seepage it is plus and when somebody is pulling me like this with 10 newton my weight is 80 10 upward somebody is pulling me so contact force will be only 70 so the contact force is zero in both cases that is no contact between the particles in quick sand condition it is due to upward seepage of water upward seepage of water effective stress becomes zero that is called quick sand condition or floating condition or bursting condition or piping failure why it is quick sand why not quick clay because in clay even after there is no contact force between particles still there is attraction of cohesion still there is some bond we cannot say it is it cannot take any load because still there is some strength still there is some bonding so we does not call it quick clay we call it quick sand condition effective stress is zero now in liquefaction also effective stress is zero but here is not due to seepage here in liquefaction the effective stress is zero due to upward dynamic forces might be due to earthquake 
from the hypocenter some waves are coming hypocenter is the place where the fault take place tectonic plates intersect and epicenter is the nearest point on the surface on the ground surface but the actual point deep inside the earth where the tectonic plate coincides is hypocenter due to that shocking waves dynamic waves due to that upward seepage effective stress becomes zero that is liquefaction you can see this now the quicksand condition i can show you live from chatisgarh please do watch this video complete for the quicksand condition दोस्तों अभी मैं हूँ छत्तीसगढ़ में और आपने एक नाम सुना होगा क्विक सैंड कंडीशन जहाँ पे पार्टिकल्स फ्लोटिंग फ्लोटिंग कंडीशन में आ जाते हैं वो कोई स्ट्रेस नहीं ले पाते हैं देखिए अभी जहाँ पे मैं खड़ा हूँ ये ऑलमोस्ट ऑलमोस्ट फ्लोटिंग कंडीशन पे हैं और ये हो सकता है मैं धस भी जाऊँ मतलब आपके पास पार्टिकल्स पर कोई स्ट्रेस लेने की क्षमता नहीं है ये होता है अपवर्ड सीपेज के कारण जब आपके पास अपवर्ड सीपेज प्रेशर इफेक्टिव स्ट्रेस के बराबर हो जाता है तो उस समय नेट इफेक्टिव स्ट्रेस हो जाता है जीरो नाउ If you ask me, sir, what are the preventive measures for quicksand condition and liquefaction? Then it may be providing a drainage filter at the downstream end of the dam, putting soil in stabilizing, or using the soil stabilization method, mixing of soils, my making it well graded soil, soil grouting, proper drainage. So, if there is a proper drainage for upward seepage, then also. Water can out can come out easily and it will not create pressure. So HL gamma W will not be there. Effective stress will not be zero. And guys, the gradient at which effective stress is zero in quicksand condition is this. I C is G minus one upon one plus E or G minus one into one minus N if you put E in terms of N. You can clearly see here while solving any numerical in gate and EAC, IC will be nearly about one, because G is around two point six to two point seven, minus one that means numerator will be around one point six to one point seven. Void ratio for sand is also point six to point seven, so it will be numerator also one point six to one point seven, denominator also one point six to one point seven. It will be one. So if your answer is point nine, point eight five, one point one, that means you are correct when you are doing the quicksand condition. So guys, this was the Ground Zero series for quicksand condition and liquefaction. Do you want more such videos? Please let me know in the comment section. And guys, please share this video to all the aspirants who are preparing civil engineering. Thank you. Stay tuned. Thank you.